I received some fabric in the mail that I purchased from Cali Fabrics and I want to share it with you. It is this quilted knit. It has a faux leather look to it. It doesn't have a whole lot of stretch vertically and it has a slight stretch horizontally on the cross grain. I initially thought I wanted to make a jumpsuit with this but I changed my mind because I think that the jumpsuit I had in mind would be a little bit too hot in this fabric. So I have since decided that I think I want to make a jacket of some type. So I'm on the hunt for a jacket pattern and I will come up with something and share it with you at some point. But I did want to make sure I shared this fabric with you and I will leave a link to the item number in case you're interested in seeing if this is still available. So I'm taking these curlers out of my hair and I have an event to go to today and I decided that I want to wear this Vogue dress that I made about two years ago and I really like it. It's kind of formal though and so I haven't really worn it. I think I wore it one time and I just decided to pull it out and wear it again. And it took a whole lot of fabric to make it so the dress is kind of heavy and I'm hoping it won't be too hot when I wear it. I think it's supposed to be like in the 80s today. But it's sleeveless so even if it's a little too hot. I should be okay on the inside, you know, when I go inside of the uh, venue. But let me hold the dress up and show you, and then I'll find a picture of me wearing it um, to share with you here in a second. Okay, let me grab it. So you can't really see a whole, whole lot, but it's a Vogue dress. And it's got a zipper on the side. And like I said, it's a lot of fabric. It's voluminous. But I'm going to put this on and show you a picture somewhere of what it looks like on. And I am on my way out of town. I will be going to, oops, I will be going to Memphis. So I have a couple of sewing makes to share with you in Memphis. One of them is a pattern I made before. And so I just made it again in a different fabric. And the other sewing make is actually one of the newest McCall spring patterns. So I will share that with you. So I'm all dressed and I just decided to come out here to see what the weather is like before I get in the car. It's beautiful. And my dress doesn't feel like it's gonna be too hot. So that's a good thing. As I was getting dressed, I thought about a story. So the other day I was out and I had on a dress that I made and this lady complimented me on the dress and I said, thank you. And we got to chit chatting and talking a little bit and she asked me what my hobbies were during the conversation. It just kind of came up and I told her I like to sew. And then she said, oh really? She said, I used to sew. And then she said, um, did you make the dress that you're wearing? And I was like, yeah, I actually did. And she said, now normally mind you, if you tell somebody that you made something, you know, typically they may say, oh, that's cool or you know, I wish I knew how to sew or something like that, right? She goes, oh, well, let me look closer. <laughs> that was the first. I've never had anybody say, let me look closer. So I was like, oh my gosh, like, please don't because I don't finish my seams. And you know, there may be a little flaw here and there. It's not perfect. Okay, so it's travel day and I'm on my way to Memphis. I just checked my luggage and I'm about to get on my plane. It's really early in the morning. It's about 425 and my plane leaves at 520.
made it to Tennessee and I drove over to Mississippi. I think I'm in South Haven. I think that's what it said. And I'm at Joanne Fabrics. I am looking at the Vogue patterns. They're not on sale, but I really like this Vogue pattern right here. And I'm not sure the number, I'll find the number. Oh, here it is, Vogue 1821. So cute. But by it not being on sale, the price is $35. It says it might be 30% off of $35, but I still will wait until it gets a little less than that. But I am looking through the directions in the meantime. And I think it's interesting that the hem is frayed and it calls for nine pieces and it shows here how it's cut. So I will probably buy a little extra fabric so that I won't have to cut number seven front and back twice. I like to cut everything out once if I can. So it looks here that it looks like if I purchase more fabric, I can cut some of these pieces out one time instead of two times. It does call for lining, but it's just for the pocket. So that's not bad. And the sleeves are interesting because they call for a continuous lap. The pattern is rated as uh, easy, but if you're not familiar with doing a continuous lap, then that may be something to check out. Is this a pleat? Yes, it does. It has a pleat here too. And a little cuff and everything. So I don't know if beginners would consider that easy or not. And then it, it tells you here how you can fray the fabric yourself for the bottom of the dress. So I thought that was interesting because you couldn't tell that that was a detail, or at least I couldn't, from just looking at the pattern envelope. So that's that. I'm just browsing before I head to my hotel, but I wanted to share this pattern with you because it's one of my favorites for the fall patterns of Vogue. Okay, so we got off the elevator, we walked to our room, put the key in the door, the TV was on, the bed wasn't made, and there was an ice bucket on the floor. So we were like, oh my gosh, this is somebody's room. So anyway, we're back in the lobby so that we can figure out what's going on and get a new room. Thank God nobody was in the room when we walked in. There's a fan on in here and it's really, really loud and I cannot figure out how to turn it off. So I'm gonna try to talk loud so you can hear me. This is a macaws top and it's made from one of the latest spring macaws patterns. I made view B with the straps from view C. I like the straps because they are adjustable and I used a three eighth inch elastic in the upper portion and then I used a quarter inch elastic in this waist area and the elastic in the waist area is thread through bias tape and that's how you get the ruffle and I used some denim so I had a dark colored denim and then I just put it in a tub with some bleach and water to lighten it and then that's how I got it to be this color so it looks the same in the back as it does in the front and it's hard to iron because the fabric is kind of thick for one thing, but also with the, you know, the little ruffles and everything, it kept kind of bunching together. And so it was really hard for me to iron and get the wrinkles out. So please forgive the wrinkles, but this is the top really easy. And I will definitely make this again. To Bill Street, look at all the little horses or the big horses actually trying to find a place to eat it's kind of quiet down here i was expecting it to be a lot more people but it's pretty empty
last night, Bill Street actually came alive at night. It was so different from when I first walked out on Bill Street. So there was live music. There were a lot of people walking around and it was fun. It was very interesting. So I'm leaving today. I only came here for one day. So I just finished ironing my outfit for the day. I am wearing some shorts that I made. I've made this pattern before. It is Simplicity 1165. I was craving or dying for some linen shorts. And so I purchased this linen fabric from Joanne Fabrics. And I like these shorts because they're real simple, but I like the way they look. I love the waistband how that came out where you have two pieces of last of elastic that are threaded through two different casings and I like the way that looks and then there are front pockets and that's all to it you could put back pockets on here I didn't do that this time but yes I'm gonna wear that with this t-shirt and I'll show you how it looks on Okay, so before I go, my love share is going to be this makeup bag that I just purchased recently. And the quilted fabric reminds me of the quilted fabric that I shared at the beginning of the video. I purchased this on Amazon, so I will put a link below if you're interested. It has a zipper on the inside, which is nice so you can put, you know, other things inside. But what I really love about this, I dumped all my stuff out so that I can show you the inside of it and what I like about it. What I like is that you can dump everything you want or anything you want in here. And then you just take the drawstring and just cinch everything up and toss it in your bag. And it's just so easy to use. And then when you wanna get anything out of it, you just you know open it back up and everything is right there easy to reach in and get what you need you can see everything it's all spread out so i love this so yes new favorite product